Hi, this is Michael Kohler of Coral Castle Explained. Uh, here's an image that I have of the Grotto of the Three Bears. It's an area that Edward Lee Scallon made for children to play in. Uh, here are some chairs here that surround this area. I have another photo here to show you. It's on a website that I found. And it shows a very nice outlay here. These are the chairs that you just saw. And uh, I'm going to discuss um, a couple of these things here. This is uh, Papa Bear's bed, uh, Mama Bear's bed, and Baby Bear's bed. And this sits um, pretty close to the, the entrance here to the Coral Castle. Um, and uh, his tower, where he slept up here, and, and his tool room is here. So let me uh, get into this uh, a little bit. The Grotto of the Three Bears, or the Children's Playground as it was called, was created by um, Edward at the Coral Castle for children uh, that would come to visit. Ed had a very soft spot in his heart for children. This could have been because of the loss of the, of the love of his life, Agnes Scuffs, decades before when she jilted him at the altar, uh, his sweet 16. However, there seems to be more to this area than simply a place where children could sit and run around and play. Um, reading out of the Coral Castle tour guide pamphlet, it states that Ed believed that children needed a place to play. Ed called this the Grotto of the Three Bears based upon the fairy tale Goldilocks and the Three Bears. There are beds, which you see here, um, and chairs over here for uh, Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. Uh, in the story, Goldilocks keeps breaking the arms off of the chairs. Um, in this area near a tree, as uh, what it says, I'm assuming it's over here in this area, I actually don't remember this particular heart-shaped object, but it says that um, Ed made a heart-shaped stool that doesn't have any arms to break off. He said that uh, he built it especially for Goldilocks, and he said that she would have a difficult time breaking the chair since it was made of coral, which is kind of funny. Um, but the most striking difference to the story in regard to what he made for this area is the porridge bowl. So let me go back to my other image. And this here is the porridge bowl. Um, it's not a bowl anymore in the in the sense of a round bowl, but it is a six-pointed table that has an area here in the middle that he lined with cement so that food and drink could be served. Um, although it is generally considered to be a replica of the Latvian star, this symbol is seen in several places throughout the Coral Castle. In my research of this megalithic site, it is clear that symbology plays a large role in not only its construction, but in the hidden clues that Ed left at his place of residence for us to discover. There is the possibility that it is sheer coincidence that this particular six-pointed symbol would be used throughout the site. However, it is of significant interest that he placed it in an area where children purportedly were supposed to play. So it is my opinion that it is not merely a symbol to lead us toward his secret, as I discuss in my book, but it is also leading us toward a state of mind. Let me explain that. Um, it is my opinion that he purposefully created this area to reflect upon a certain state that a person must be in in order to access the energy that is necessary to do the miraculous. This 1100 ton megalithic structure was not merely built with simple tools and pulleys. If this were true, someone would have already discovered the secret. That is my opinion. If it is that simple, if doing all of this is that simple, 
some modern scientist, some scientific team, would have come along and said, hey, this is how you do it, and showed us that brought, we would have brought out the pulleys, the ropes, and said, hey, here it is, uh, mystery solved. But they haven't done it. Um, so since it's never been done before, including even a replica of this little area here, where you have one ton chairs, uh, three, four ton beds, if you can call them that, since no one has replicated it, the mystery of the Coral Castle and its solution seems to be safe from the eyes of everyone who visits and of course also modern science. If you'd like to learn more about the Coral Castle um, you can get five free chapters of my book Coral Castle Explained. Uh, just uh, follow the link below. Thanks for watching.